last week we got an update to Call of Duty World War II in the sense of getting a lot of content on the table, primarily that for Attack of the Undead, the brand new event within World War II, and at the time that was really the main focus, but one thing that people soon caught on to was that there was a slight adjustment in actually the first step for the Master Prestige rewards. This though was a little bit smaller on the scale of things, and a lot of people were expecting a little bit more, but that is something that was also met with the statement that Sledgehammer is working on even more Master Prestige rewards. Rewards. So while we ended up and still currently have 300 armory credits in the mail station instead of 200 armory credits for those master prestiges, whether it be level 56 to 1000, it's a start, but it's not necessarily what the hardcore players were really looking for. So today I want to talk a little bit about some ideas that I had for the master prestige reward system and some things that I think honestly could work really well and would help prolong the amount of time that players still stay on the game even after reaching master prestige. Because right now, albeit once you get to master prestige, you kind of hit that max, obviously, and then you have have the really long marathon to level 1000, but after that, you don't really get rewarded for all that much. At the moment, you still don't even get the supply drops every five to 10 levels. You don't get anything for hitting those big milestones. So right now, it really comes down to how can we keep players once they reach max prestige, how can we reward them a little bit further? So today we're gonna be taking a look at, again, some of those ideas that I have, but I will say right off the bat, this might not apply to a lot of you. And that's the thing in development that makes this so tricky is because it's the balance between rewarding players that put in the time, but also not neglecting the players who may not have the time to get there. So it's a tough spot to be in for sure. And so for these ideas, maybe with your help and the discussion that we can create with this, maybe we end up directly affecting some of these rewards. But the big thing I'm trying to get across with these things are that they are rewarding for the players that maybe want to get to there, but they don't also hurt the players that don't have the time to get there and that may never get there. So hopefully trying to strike that balance properly, but we'll see. And I guess you can let me know in the comment section down below. But first things first, the big one that is honestly really simple to do and in my books is one that must happen is to continue the five to ten level supply drops right now as it stands every five levels I think it is you get a common supply drop and every ten you get a rare supply drop that's something that really helped out a lot of people myself included for grinding supply drops in the sense of I don't want to spend money on the game in the sense of trying to risk something for RNG something that only gives me a chance so for that all of my supply drops and all of my weapon variants that I have were gotten organically via grinding either contracts, orders, levels even. And so that's something that you don't really notice how much of a difference it makes until you end up getting there and you don't get them at all. So that's one of the big things that I think we really need to see continue on is that every five to 10 levels, so 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, and so on and so forth, all the way up to level 1000, you should still get rewarded with a supply drop. And again, that's something that really in the grand scheme of things should not be all that hard to do simply because we already saw that level progression happen up until 10th prestige level 55 so that's when you'll end up seeing that cut off but hopefully this is something that can be taken into account and then readjusted so that you still continue to get those every time you rank up and obviously there are people that are level 1000 so for all these sorts of things if you end up hitting max max at that level 1000 I think you still should be compensated by the sense of playing catch up and you get everything granted to you at that point but that's just me I don't know if that'll work out as such. But number two up on the list though comes in a little bit of a way of separate orders for Master Prestiges. This was something that I saw a little bit of a discussion over on Reddit about this and I kind of thought about this a little further and honestly I think it'd be awesome to see this kind of stuff. You have a different separate set of daily and weekly orders that maybe can up the ante in terms of rewards. Perhaps in my books one of the things that I thought of that would be really awesome would be to have a little bit more of a tougher challenge for the weekly orders but offer say epic or heroic bribes of a very various assortments for completing those as those rewards instead of rare supply drops as we see of the standard weekly orders in Major Howard right now. Then also have different daily orders that would offer more rare supply drops or a large bonus of social score I think so that again it just kind of ups the ante a little bit in the sense where a daily would get you a rare whereas that normally would be a weekly that would have to do that and then of course a larger sum of social score instead of say 250 maybe 500 or 750. I think that honestly that'd be a great way to start some implementation of different orders and challenges. Now, talking about challenges though, that's where I want to get into the next thing. Let's have a whole separate challenge section for Master Prestiges, because we've seen previous challenges with Prestige in a lot of Call of Duty games, but what about those specifically designed for ranks 56 to 1000? To me, I think this could offer a ton of different things, perhaps different levels of supply drops or weapon variants even. That's something that I would be 
all four. If you give me a challenge that I have to really grind for in which I can get either a weapon unlock token or some sort of specific exclusive variant maybe, I'd do it any day of the week. And this would be something that in turn would allow players to continue playing on because they'd be challenges they'd have to do to unlock these things, to get an unlock token, to get an exclusive weapon variant, to do anything like that. And I think that this would be able to really help that cause in keeping players on Call of Duty World War II. But again, that's just challenge wise. That'd be something that I guess not necessarily you would have to take part in, but it would be there if you really want to do it. The next thing they want to talk about though, really once again, comes back to rewarding those milestones like we talked about very briefly here at the beginning of this video. That being something that I think every 50 to 100 levels, you should get some sort of specific unlock. Whether that be every 50 levels you get a variant unlock token, or every 100 levels you get a DLC weapon variant unlock token, which would mean that you can take anything outside of just those weapons that launched. So if you think of, say, any of the new weapons, the Stinger, the Nambu, the Lever Action, the PTRS, or even back to, say, Blitzkrieg, Resistance, Shamrock, and on, Winter Siege, if you want any of those weapons and a specific variant with it, maybe every 100 levels you get one of those sort of of things where it's literally an unlock anything token instead of just a weapon variant token. So that would be something that maybe would be awesome to see as well. But one thing that I'd be really interested to see is that every maybe say 50 to 100 levels, you have an exclusive weapon variant that you can only get by obtaining those levels. Very similar to how Advanced Warfare did it, but actually have them exclusive and out of the loot pool solely for Master Prestige ranks. That would increase longevity and allow for the increased intrigue to go on for quite some time. And when I talk about say weapon variants that maybe exclusive, if you were to throw in things like the Iron Curtain 2 PPSH or the M1 Independent 2 variant, well, I'd gladly grind out to max rank just to get those challenges or just to be able to be able to get to that next rank where I'd earn it organically by ranking up. That's how awesome those variants are to me. So if you make something that is absolutely a fan favorite, a hit of a weapon variant, that'd be something that again, you could play it out very similar to how Advanced Warfare System was with those Master Prestige rewards back then, although obviously you're not prestiging another time time to 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, and so on and so forth prestige, but instead you still have again those 100 ranks that honestly I think may be more XP than a full prestige because if I'm not mistaken, every single level is almost like you're ranking up from 55 to max again after you hit that 56 to level 1000 threshold. So that might be something that even maybe more to get to the next 100 levels, that might be something that even is a little bit more in terms of that than just a full prestige, but I digress. The next thing I want to discuss is very small in the grand scheme of things compared to other things we're going to be offering up once again already and then for the rest of the video, but that is the ability to change your prestige icon after you hit max rank and every say 100 levels, you end up getting a new prestige icon set or something like that. Very similar to how Black Ops 3 did it. That was something that was a very unsung cool feature in Black Ops 3 and a lot of people looking back at it really kind of were curious to see if we'd see that in Infinite Warfare and of course in World War 2 as well, but we never saw that and again, it's a smaller thing, but it is something that kind of shows off a little bit more of the customization of actually reaching that max level. So I think it'd be cool, but to me, it's not necessarily a must. The next and second to last thing I wanna talk about is one that I thought about a little bit and I thought would be kinda cool to implement, but it would be an entirely new feature. So it might not be the easiest to do, but that being something of a master prestige broker, something in which you could end up trading in your unlock tokens that you get for say a bribe or some other sort of deal. Because to me, it's kinda crazy that you'll still get unlock tokens every level after you rank up and reach that max, that even though you don't need to unlock everything because it's all unlocked there, you'll still get those tokens. So to be able to maybe say trade those in for every 50 levels, maybe a heroic or an epic bribe of some sort, that'd be cool. And of course, then you end up getting rid of just that annoying little unlock token icon on the top that you're never gonna need to use, but will still be there and continue to grow every day. I think it'd be cool to see something like that maybe come out of these Master Prestige rewards. But the final thing that I wanna talk about actually deals a little bit with, once again, coming back more so to organically earning things. That being some sort of armory credit cash. Now, now, we saw with social score, I think it was rank 17, I believe, that once you hit that, you got a drop of 15,000 armory credits, which is a lot, especially all at once. I know that that's something that really helped replenish what I used in armory credits for some of the new weapons. I just hit that a couple of days ago or something, but even though it took a lot of time, it very much so similarly takes a lot of time to get to certain levels in Master Prestige. So this could be something that would translate easily for simply multiplayer rank also, 
on top of what we got for social score, letting you earn a large sum of armory credits for ranking up maybe say every 50 levels or so. I don't necessarily know if you do every 50 levels, it needs to be 15,000 armory credits, but maybe say 10,000 every 50 and maybe 15 or 20 every 100 levels. Just so it allows players to have, again, a large bonus for hitting those milestones, but also that will reward them for coming back whenever new things come out in the Quartermaster. But ultimately, I think that's my list of seven things that I think Master Prestige rewards should, and maybe at least some of them need to be implemented. Now again, it is a very tough thing to try and strike that balance between rewarding players that have put in a ton of effort and a ton of time into the game, but also not neglecting those that don't have the ability to do so. So hopefully these kind of once again struck that balance, and I hope that's something that maybe we can see some of these even come out of it, but I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. This is where I turn it over to you and it becomes an entire community discussion. That's my biggest goal here out of this, is to maybe amplify this discussion, to maybe allow the collective ideas of the community to go a little bit further and maybe end up even being seen by Sledgehammer. I think it'd be awesome to see, but we'll see in time if that happens, but I'd love to get your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Is there any of these out of these, say, seven that you really liked, you loved, or maybe you hated, or is there anything in particular outside of them that you would throw into this list as maybe things that we should hopefully definitely want to look forward to within World War II and the Master Prestige rewards coming sometime soon. Hopefully very soon, but we don't have an ETA. Love to get your thoughts, so drop them down in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding Call of Duty World War II, anything regarding updates, news, information, best class setups, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. We got you covered here up on the channel. So if any of that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. And if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube, practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. And also, if you guys want to follow me over on Instagram, try to link more active over there also. So that link is as well in the description. But all that's sudden out of the way, hopefully you guys had a fantastic day. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Espresso. Take care and peace.